Chapter 3, Mishnah 8. This Mishnah teaches that the dispute between Rabbi Yehuda and the sages about the two days of Rosh Hashanah applies not only to Uruvei Tehumin, but also to other halachic matters. It begins with the rabbinic prohibition against separating Teruma and Maiser from produce on Shabbos and Yom Tov. Rabbi Yehuda also said, a person may make a condition about a basket of Tevel on the first Yom Tov, i.e. the first day, of Rosh Hashanah and eat it on the second day. That is, he may designate a portion of the Tevel as Teruma or Maiser on the first day and say, if this is an ordinary day, the food I am separating should become teruma. But if today is Yom Tov, nothing shall take effect. The next day he says, if this is an ordinary day, the food I separated yesterday should become teruma now. If today is Yom Tov, it already became teruma yesterday. After making this statement on the second day, he may eat the rest of the food, because the separation definitely took effect by then. Separating teruma in this manner is permitted on Rosh Hashanah because the food became Terumah on whichever day was not Yom Tov. Rabbi Huda's next ruling involves the rabbinic prohibition of eating on Yom Tov an egg that was laid that day. Similarly, an egg that was laid on the first day of Rosh Hashanah may be eaten on the second day. An egg laid on Yom Tov is forbidden to be eaten only on Yom Tov. Therefore, if the first day was Yom Tov, the egg may be eaten on the second day, since that day is not Yom Tov. And if the second day is Yom Tov, the egg was not forbidden in the first place, since the day on which it was laid, the first day was not Yom Tov. Rabbi Huda's rulings are based on the premise that two days of Rosh Hashanah are observed only out of doubt. That is, either one day or the other is Yom Tov, but not both. The sages reject this premise. But the sages did not agree with him in these rulings, because they hold that the two days of Rosh Hashanah are a single long period of definite holiness. Therefore, separating Terumah and Rosh Hashanah is prohibited, even in the manner described above, because both days are Yom Tov, and an egg laid on the first day does not become permitted until the end of the second day, since the second day is a continuation of the first.